watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. Y'all watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. You're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, habla Cindy. Está viendo Deportes TV. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, Eddie Hearn is in hot water with Tyrone Sponge, as Tyrone Sponge is, com is saying and um, complaining, you know, and accusing Eddie Hearn or someone of rigging his VADA test uh, as his last test he has passed. You know, um, he put he posted the, the picture of his VADA test, you know, uh, saying that he passed the test. He don't know what's happening. Uh, as he said from the beginning, he was clean. He stated that, you know, uh, something shady is going on. But if they um, remove this and allow me to come fight, I'll fly in and come fight tomorrow. I'll weigh in and come fight tomorrow. He said, and rec shop, you know, uh, they trying to keep me from Olesander Usyk because I was going to embarrass Olesander Usyk. He said, so they did everything in their power to keep me from him. And uh, thus the reason why something shady happened and I failed my VADA test, uh, um, according to them. He stated that, you know, um, but look at this. He posted it, uh, his VADA test, his results, and he passed. He says, so I don't know what took place and what's going on with this, right? He says, just received word from VADA that my third and last urine sample taken on October 2nd was negative for all prohibited substances. As I've said all along, I'm clean fight. I'm a clean fighter, and the previous results were inaccurate or man manipulated. Right? Who is responsible for this? Question mark. It's a sh it's shameful that I've been robbed of the opportunity. His team knew I was very big risk and could hurt him, and needed a way out to avoid total embarrassment. I've been wrong, and I'm pissed off. I'm willing to get on a plane tonight and step in the ring tomorrow night. And f blank up. Right. Eddie Hearn responded. Uh, people are going, you know, um, absolute nuts in the comment section. Eddie Hearn is not hiding. He says uh, uh, Eddie Hearn had this to say, you know, um, I would love to the, for the fight to continue on. But unfortunately, uh, uh, he says this is what he says. I'm here. You know, he's not hiding. Eddie Hearn said, I wish the fight was on. But unfortunately, he failed two vital tests and the commission would not license him. So Eddie Hearn is in the comment section. This is ongoing as we speak. You know, um, uh, I just find this ironic that Eddie Hearn um, actually somebody said that Eddie Hearn actually posted this before Tyrone Sponge did. You know, um, I find it pretty ironic that um, Eddie Hearn would do so when it came down to Dillian White. Uh, July 17th, he was informed about a failed UCOD test going into his fight with Oscar Rivas July 20th, and he wasn't um, eager to post that. He said it wasn't his obligation. It wasn't his duty. It was out of his hands to post that and inform Oscar Rivas and his team. Oscar Rivas and his team were not informed until uh, um, uh, days after the fight of the failed uh, UCOD test, right? And Eddie Hearn uh, said that it wasn't up to him to notify Oscar Rivas and his team. But when it comes to this situation with uh, um, Tony uh, uh, Tyrone Sponge, uh, um, Eddie Hearn is all over it. And Eddie Hearn uh, actually uh, put out the information prior to uh, uh, um, Tyrone Sponge putting out the information. So I find that quite ironic and I find that quite, you know, uh, shaky that Eddie Hearn would do so, you know, um, and not, you know, uh, uh, inform Oscar Rivas. You wasn't willing to inform Oscar Rivas, but when it comes to your fighter and the shoe is on the other foot, you know, Eddie Hearn wants his best, has his best interest at heart, right? So when it comes to Olesander Usyk, who's his fighter, you know, uh, he, he wants to make sure that Olesander Usyk is protected, right? And for Tyrone Sponge to come out and post this, you know, uh, it's pretty uh, serious. And um, uh, it's hard to believe that this man would have failed um, previous tests and now, you know, is willing to show this uh, his third test. But when it comes to Dillian White, we've been waiting for that B sample for quite some time and we've still yet to get it. And Tyrone Sponge has got three tests already done and put out the information on his last test uh, to inform the world that he was clean all along. But Eddie Hearn would tell the world and anybody who would listen that Dillian White is clean and just wait for the B sample. And we've been waiting months. We went, we've been waiting since 
July for the B sample and we're going into the middle of October already and we still have yet to hear anything from the B sample with Dillian White in that situation, which Eddie Hearn said that he had to distance himself due to the fact that it wasn't his business and it wasn't his priority, it wasn't his duty to notify Oscar Rivas and his team. Yet Tyrone Sponge is um, um, b was being criticized and quickly removed from the fight with Ole Santa Usyk. But Eddie Hearn is stating that it wasn't up to him, it was up to the Boxing Commission. The Boxing Commission would not allow Tyrone Sponge to continue on, they wouldn't license him. And I will have to say this, you know, to Eddie Hearn's defense, you know, uh, the fight with Olisander um, Usyk and Tyrone Sponge will be taking place in the States. It's gonna be stateside in Chicago. Uh, the fight with Dillian White and Oscar Rivas took place in the UK. So I don't know what kind of strings could be pulled in that situation for that fight to continue on. But uh, it seems like Vada and um, they're gonna be more um, uh, strict here in the States and prevent uh, Tyrone Sponge you know, from uh, stepping through the ropes. But like Tyrone Sponge is stating and clearing, trying to clear his name, you know, he passed his test. He said all along I was clean. And in this situation, I don't know what's taking place. You know, I don't know what's happening, but it seems like something tr um, fishy is going on behind the scenes and I'm not liking it. And I'm totally pissed off and they're robbing me out of my opportunity to shock the world. Let's see how this all plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hey, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shouts out to the entire L D B C. Shouts out to New Media. Shouts out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. If you haven't purchased your Focus Ball, go purchase your Focus Ball at thefocusball.com. Perfect for hand-eye coordination, perfect for accuracy in combat sports. Use the promo code Blue Blood Sports TV and get 10% off. Blue.